taunt kills. The ultimate humiliation and the maximum style points. Taunting is fairly ubiquitous in video games, but the ability to do damage or even kill an enemy using a taunt is far less common. There are some examples of games that feature taunt kills, but many of these are fighting games and most of the time the ability is more of a finishing move as opposed to a way to one-shot your opponent. It never really struck me before how TF2 took the idea of taunt killing to a whole new level. There are currently 13 taunt kills in TF2, providing players a variety of interesting ways to disrespectfully murder the enemy. There's a taunt kill for every class. Two for Engineer. Oh, and four for Pyro, by the way. Oh, and none for Demo Man, by the way. Or Sniper, by the way. Demo Knight and Huntsman Sniper, sure, but not the classic Demo or Sniper. It's outrageous. Somebody start a hashtag or something. And this is especially annoying because the Kaber taunt is just begging to be a taunt kill. He literally swings the Kaber at the end of it. It's like someone forgot to add the explosion bit at the end. Anyway, in this video, we're going to find out which is the best taunt kill in TF2. And to do that, we're going to look at several different criteria. Which does the most damage, which is the fastest, which has the longest range, and most importantly, which gets the most style points. Okay, so let's start with damage. Taunt kills in TF2 typically do 500 damage, but there are at least five exceptions to this. The first of which is Armageddon, which despite its impressive animation, actually deals the least amount of damage to a single opponent. However, this taunt can affect multiple targets, and it has a unique mechanic that means it deals half the damage to each subsequent opponent in its range. Next up, we have the Execution, that does 420 damage. It's not completely clear the reason for these first two outliers. I think Armageddon was intended to have a unique mechanic like this, this, but for something like the execution, I wonder if the developers had Afterburn in mind when designing it. For the sake of ranking these, I've excluded Afterburn for now, but I will include it when it comes to looking at the damage these can do to multiple targets. All these other lovely taunts in the middle do 500 damage, until we get to the last three at the other end. There's the Spinal Tap, which does a whopping additional 1 HP of damage when the Ubersaw first hits the target. We have the Organ Grinder, which does 14 additional points of damage at the beginning of the taunt. And Fencing, which pokes the enemy twice, doing a total of 50 damage before its final blow. Which sounds lovely, but in reality, just warns any unaware targets of your presence, making it an especially tricky taunt kill to pull off. By the way, if you're curious, there are scenarios where you can survive one of these taunt kills. For example, if you're a fully buffed heavy, then you could tank the Armageddon or the Execution. Or if you're wearing the Fists of Steel, you can also survive other taunts that the game considers range attacks, such as the Hadouken. Okay, let's rearrange this list based on the potential damage done to multiple targets. So you know, if you happen to stumble across all 12 of the enemy team standing in the exact same spot, could happen. This is where things get really spicy, and I was surprised to learn which taunt kills can actually damage multiple opponents. First off, we have the taunt that can only affect a single target. Most of these kind of make sense. We then have Spinal Tap and Organ Grinder, which deal the small amount of additional damage we mentioned earlier. Next up, we have the Execution, where if you include Afterburn, it can technically set a light to 12 enemies after dealing 500 damage to one initial target. And I'll leave it up to you whether this counts or not. Armageddon is the first taunt kill that intentionally can be used on multiple targets and has that interesting mechanic of dealing 400 to the first target and then half to each subsequent target all the way down to 1 HP that we mentioned earlier. I then again added Afterburn to this to bring us to this number. The final four, however, are the big boys. Each of these can deal the full 500 damage to however many opponents there are in front of them. So you have the Soldier's Kamikaze, which makes complete sense. And then you have Spy's little pokey knife taunt. That's right, somehow the spy can put his tiny knife through 12 people in one stab. Impressive. I guess it must be a deceptively long knife. Finally, we have Pyro's Hadouken and Gas Blast. It's not clear why these two should be able to kill 12 people, whereas, say, the Execution, or Organ Grinder, or even the Discord cannot. But there we have it. That just seems to be how it works. And the reason these two win is, again, because I've factored in Afterburn, and I'll leave it up to you as to whether this is cheating or not. But if we were to ignore Afterburn, then it would be the Spy's Fencing Taunt that would clinch it out with 6,050 damage. 
This is possibly the most important stat of them all, and there are two things to look at here, the overall duration and the time to kill. Three of the taunts also feature a stun mechanic that I've noted down as well. The first thing I wanted to point out though is how inaccurate the wiki seems to be. I tested every single taunt and measured the timings as best I could, and while these figures are still approximate, they are vastly more accurate than those I found on the wiki, so if anyone fancies going in there and updating it, then go right ahead. Let's start by ordering this list by total duration. We start off with the Sniper's Skewer and the Pyro's Execution in first place at 3.3 seconds, and these are followed by the Kamikaze and the Hadouken, all of which are very speedy taunts, which can be completed in under 4 seconds. If we move to the other end of the list, we can see that most of these are around the 4 or 5 second mark, but the longest of all by quite a way is the Gas Blast at 6.6 .6 seconds, which is a complete age in a first person shooter, tied in second to last place place is fencing and Armageddon. Okay, this is where it gets interesting. Let's see how this list changes if we rearrange by time to kill, which I would argue is the more important of the two stats. Here we see a completely different picture. In first place we have the Heavies Showdown, which will kill an opponent in under 2 seconds. Insane. The Execution and Hadouken are surprisingly quick too, finishing a target off in around 2 seconds. And in 4th and 5th place we have Skewer and the Demo Knight's Decapitation. If we were to take into consideration Stunning, which is just as important to be fair, then actually it's Skewer that takes the crown here, as it can render an enemy useless in 1 second. And at the bottom of the list, no pun intended, is the Gas Blast, and this is again followed by Fencing and the Scout's Home Run. I just wanted to stress one more time how inaccurate the wiki seems to be, for some of these details at least. Firstly, it only tends to cover the total duration of the taunt, it also seems to round to the nearest second, and even then it seems to be quite far off. As for the Skewer Taunt, for example, it seems to be down as 4 seconds, when in reality it's closer to 3. I won't spend too long on the range, as broadly speaking, you've got to be pretty close. However, there seems to be three main groups, 48, 96 and 128 hammer units. These numbers I took directly from the wiki. These are probably partly influenced by the animation and where it looks like the player is having an effect in game, but I feel like they probably could have standardised this a little bit too. And as some of you may have noticed, the gas blast and execution didn't have an exact range as far as I could see. For the gas blast, you do have to be pretty close. And to get the full effect with the execution you have to be close to, but of course you can damage people at longer ranges, but it will deal vastly less damage. The real outlier here though is the Heavy's Showdown, boasting an amazing 500 hammer units range. But it's also worth giving the Armageddon a mention here too, as although it does have a very short range, it has quite a large area of effect. Last up, but most importantly, how awesome does the taunt look? How ridiculous is it? How humiliating is it? This one's a tiny bit subjective, so feel free to let me know if you disagree in the comments below. I love Skewer because it's brutal and has an awesome voice line. Armageddon is insane. Hadouken is an amazing reference. Kamikaze is the only one where you literally kill yourself. There are so many good ones, it's really difficult to choose, but I have to say that these are probably my top four. The Organ Grinder, because again, it's brutal, and you can achieve either a Gib or a Spinning Ragdoll if you get the kill within the first few seconds. The Execution, for me, just looks so badass. Plus, you can shoot people from quite far away, which is good fun too. You have the Home Run, which is incredible because you can fling someone across the map with a spectacular Ragdoll, if timed right. But at number one, it has to be Pootis Pow. Pow! <laughs> We've seen it a million times, we take it for granted, but the heavy showdown is awesome. You can aim it, it has a fairly decent range, you get a ragdoll, but most importantly, it's just ridiculous. In a good way. And it looks like many of you agree with me, based on your response on Twitter, although there's a lot of love for the skewer too, and some other ones. I'm not sure why, but the Spy's Fencing and the Demo's Decapitation taunts always felt a little bit lame to me. Perhaps it's something to do with the animation? I'm not sure. The Medic's Spinal Tap is also a little underwhelming as a concept, but I have to say that generally speaking, there's a really nice variety of taunts here and most of them are pretty darn awesome. 
There's a couple of other things worth mentioning here. Firstly, the volume of the taunt can affect how likely you are to land it. I won't go into too much detail here. Most of the taunts are fairly quiet or even silent until the finishing blow, but there are a few that are notably louder. There are also some other secondary factors that generally affect the taunt's viability. In terms of simply taking out the enemy, stab, 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 is the most viable. Good impression, you're welcome, because it stuns so quickly. But it's also useful for disrupting Ubers too. And then we have the medic spinal tap that instantly grants you a fully charged Uber. And then we have the pyros taunts that fill your oomph bar if you happen to be using the flog. The kamikaze, hidouken and fencing can also be used to destroy buildings. And it might be debatable how useful this is, especially if you're killing yourself with a kamikaze taunt, or if you're a spy who has a way to instantly disable sentries and other buildings. But I have heard some people mention how it can be useful, particularly on wrangled sentries if you're the pyro. The heavy has the classic holiday punch and taunt kill combo, always good, but honestly, most of the time you're just going to be using one of these for fun. And for me, the most useful reason to use a taunt kill is to try and get some revenge during humiliation time. So, the best taunts for each category are as follows. And as you can see, the heavy showdown appears for quite a few of these categories. And so if I had to choose a winner to be crowned the greatest taunt kill in TF2, it would have to be showdown. But I have to be fair to the sniper, as skewer is probably the easiest one to get a kill with as it stuns so incredibly quickly. So I think that should have a crown too. And fun skewer facts before I go. While stunned, the sniper can still stun and kill others with the taunt by rapidly hitting the taunt key or hitting it at the correct moment. Performing the conga taunt can allow the victim to escape the skewer's taunt kill, and it's possible to succeed with the stun but fail with the kill, depending on the enemy's distance. So two snipers wielding the huntsman can create an infinite stun loop without killing each other, known as the staring contest, apparently. Anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. A special thank you to all my Patreons. Join my Discord, follow me on Twitter, all that bollocks. Look in the description below and click stuff and I'll see you guys in the next video.